Okay, today I'm going to show you a little bit of snapshots, which will revolutionize the way that you use Helix. Uh, I know it uh, looks like it's changing the way that I use it quite a lot. Uh, this is very basic. I'm only going to show you a, uh, a four-block example. Um, you can do so much more with it. I want you to use your imagination. But right now, the first thing you need to do is head over to your global settings. And when you get to your foot switches menu, this menu has changed, by the way, look down here at Preset Mode Switches and make sure it is it is uh, changed to stomp slash snap this will give you four buttons on the top row of your controller that are stomp boxes and four buttons on the bottom row that are snapshots you can switch it if you want experiment with the different modes but this is the way that i'm going to do it for my example with you today next we're going to head on over to an empty patch and i'm going to put in my four blocks the first block i'm going to put in will be my amp. I keep my amps and my cabs separate. I recommend you do the same. Totally up to you. Picking my favorite amp, which just happens to be the Matchless. And I'm going to use channel 1. Now, my next block is going to be a delay, and I am merely using a delay to show you the flexibility. Uh, you can use any effects you want, obviously, but the one I'm going to use today is the Vintage Digital Delay. That is a brand new model that is in uh, the newest firmware of Helix that you're going to like a lot, I think. Next one that we're going to do is we're going to put in a good old amp spring reverb sound. So here we go, get all the way down here to 63 spring. I like that one a lot. I don't use reverb a lot in my live work, but when I'm just uh, recording or just noodling, then I do like to uh, put something in. Here we go. Finally, we need a cabinet. And the cabinet that I use the most is the 2x12 Interstate. Four blocks, amp, delay, reverb, cabinet. Ready to go? Okay, strap yourself in. Okay, this next detail is the thing that is most important that you are going to want to remember. This is where you find the power of snapshots in Helix. I am on my Matchstick Channel 1 amp, and if you notice across the bottom here, I have my Channel 1 drive, bass, cut, treble, presence, channel volume. What I'm going to do is, I am going to push in on the knob while I am turning it for channel drive. You'll notice now it has turned white. It has brackets indicating that it is being controlled by some controller within Helix. In this case, the controller is the snapshot controller. Now, I'm going to do that with each one of these. And what this is doing is this is setting snapshot number one to these settings. And when I change them, you're going to see the magic happen. Okay? So now I've just got the, the defaults with the with the possible difference that I'm taking my channel drive down just a little bit where I like it. If you'll notice, uh, snapshot one is about to change to snapshot two. I'm doing this on the foot controller. You can't see that because I don't have two cameras. But now I'm on number two. I'm going to bring the drive up. I'm going to bring the channel volume down. I'm going to bring the bass down, treble down, presence down. But I'm going to bring the cut up. Okay, now if you'll notice, snapshot one goes back to the settings that I had already set for snapshot one. Snapshot two is now changed to all the settings I just changed to. It has already remembered everything I need. Now, what I can do is I can decide that my digital delay wants to be on for the clean sound, but when I go to the dirty sound, which is snapshot two, it's bypassed. If you watch, I go back to snapshot one, it's on. I go to snapshot two, it's off. I can also change all the parameters of my delay, all the parameters of my reverb, turn reverb on or off. All those things, I just, just imagine what you can do and you probably can do it. So that gives you a very quick understanding of snapshots. I'm not even gonna give you a sound sample because I want you to go and make your own. See ya.